think I need help, people. I bought a bottle opener that you place on top of the bottle and gently push down and it takes the cap right off and holds it in place with the magnet. Obviously, because this motion was way too much work for me. The end of civilization is coming, folks. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. My luck, I'll survive and be the last person on Earth with nothing but Britney Spears' Instagram videos to occupy my time. 50 Cent followed in Cardi B's thong print and in a rage of spaghetti arm fury threw his microphone in the vicinity of an audience member and hit her in the head causing a puncture wound. He faced a felony battery investigation. Here's footage of the event. Into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Oh, sorry. Here's actual footage of the event. Fifty Cent apologized and said he was aiming at a fan 17 rows back. Is it just me, or does Playboy Cardi look like Chris Kattan's character Mr. Peepers from Saturday Night Live? Ozzy Osbourne had to withdraw from his slot at the Power Trip Festival concert in October, where metal and hard rockers will perform. Ozzy is still recovering from surgery after a fall in 2019. His daughter, Kelly Osborne, said that they can't talk about it in the house because it's too heartbreaking. I have a feeling even if they did talk about it in the house that they wouldn't understand what the hell Ozzy was saying anyway. Freddie Mercury's Yamaha Grand Piano that he wrote Bohemian Rhapsody on sold at auction for a record $2.2 million. The previous record was $2.1 million for John Lennon's piano on which he wrote the song Imagine. Here's a close-up pic of Mercury's piano. If you ask me, it looks a little long in the tooth. Collaborator of Daft Punk, Todd Edwards, said that when they broke up, they were going in two different directions as artists. Yes, one of them wanted a helmet that looked much more like a penis, and the other one wanted one that didn't make his head smell like a penis for 24 hours a day. Creative differences. Mm, penis, penis, penis. Billie Eilish joined the Coalition of Artists Against Gun Violence, which includes Sheryl Crow, Niall Rogers, and Peter Gabriel, to name a few. You might want to think about the next time you sing the theme song for a movie where the main character shoots more bullets and kills more people than in all of World War II. Hey, I guess the payday and Grammy win for the song makes it worthwhile. It seems just a bit hypocritical. It's kind of like a prostitute telling you they believe in abstinence and justifying sex with customers by saying it doesn't count because they don't enjoy it. A new biography on Elon Musk by Walter Isaacson revealed that he and Grimes have a third child named Techno Mechanicus. Sounds like a goddamn Transformers character. They said it was either that or... And that brings us to our wonderful sponsors, Shaft Junk Condoms, for guys with that extra bulbous shape. Be safe and wrap it up, but don't forget which one goes on which head. The wheel of bored rich people that think they're smarter than you. As sponsored by Elon Musk and Grimes. Let your kid's entire life full of ridicule and trauma ride on the wheel of bored rich people that think they're smarter than you. Ah, what's it gonna be? And yes, I misspelled Mechanicus. And so will he. Now I'd like to document a story under the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? People on social media are trying to solve one of the greatest mysteries of the 21st century. Whether or not Dua Lipa was actually cooking shrimp on a grill, or was just posing like she was cooking shrimp on a grill. Dua Lipa's sister, Rena, uploaded this video to her Instagram, where posters noticed there was no fire or smoke coming from the grill. Why would Dua Lipa fake cooking shrimp on a grill at a family gathering? Was she trying to upgrade her shrimp street cred or try to prove to men on social media that she's marriage material? Lord, please bring back the flat earthers on social media. At least they were interesting. To that I say, who gives a shit? 
It's been revealed that Elvis Presley sang the Dolly Parton hit song, I Will Always Love You to Priscilla Presley, when they got divorced. It was also revealed that he sang the song Jailbait by Ted Nugent to her when they started dating and he was 24 and she was 14. Hmm, such a lady killer. In a related story, Jared Leto said, It's important to be willing to destroy a bit of yourself. Let go of the past in order to move forward. Hopefully it's the part that he allegedly touches teenies with. I don't know if it's true or not, but he's had several allegations toward him. I also haven't seen Fat Elvis overeat, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it was somewhat likely. Spotify is rolling out a new artist feature. You can now pay to have one of your songs or albums appear as a mobile banner on the website's homepage to get more possible streams. The one catch is that you have to have accumulated at least a thousand streams in the last 28 days in the available target market that you advertise to with the banner. More than half of all songs on the platform have less than 500 streams. Also, out of the 8 million artists on the platform, about 7.5 million have less than 1,000 listeners per month. I'm sure that'll work out for the little guy, because it always has. Not so much of a joke, but just a bleak reality of the industry. Gannett, the largest newspaper publisher in the U.S., is hiring reporters to only report on Taylor Swift and Beyonce news. It pays between $21 and $50 an hour, and the qualifications include having your head so far up Taylor Swift's ass that you can smell Travis Kelsey's 70s porn mustache. In Sync reunited at the MTV Video Music Awards, and 98 Degrees isn't too happy about it. They said it took the shine off of them announcing their own reunion. Apparently, it's the 90s all over again. The Blue Ridge Rock Festival in Virginia had its remaining performances canceled halfway through due to severe weather conditions. Other complaints were about overflowing garbage, dirty bathrooms and showers, shuttle bus issues, and worker strikes. Conditions got so bad that there were widespread reports of stomach cramps and diarrhea. Attendees thanked the producers of the show for making them feel right at home. They're promoting next year's show as still better than Firefest. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are getting a divorce. Joe Jonas said the reason they're getting divorced is because... I love the reason, bitch! Sophie would keep hiding all his favorite cereals with toys on the top shelf. Because Sophie said that Joe had a lot of growing up to do. Because every time they walked across a puddle, they had to hail a water taxi for Joe. Oh, shit. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. Did you see the new Hot Ones episode with NSYNC? They started singing their new song at the end. It's tearing up my butt when I poo.